Welcome to episode 1314 of the Monthly Family Collective. Today I wanted to talk about drinking grapes. I think it's otherwise obvious that we can't drink grapes. We have to actually crush grapes in order to make wine. And I think that's synonymous with leadership development or your managerial skill development. You have to get crushed. I recall many, many years ago, I went to Napa Valley uh, with equity residential properties and we did a team building exercise. And the team building exercise consisted of a barrel full of grapes, not full, but maybe like a quarter of the way full. We had five to seven people on each team. And the idea was that you, as a team, you would take turns with bare feet, stepping in the barrel of grapes and actually crushing the grapes beneath your feet and then watching the, the juice, so to speak, roll out of the grape into a collection basin, right? And so five to seven people crush, who knows, let's say hundreds of grapes to, to yield about, you can't see this if you're listening to this, but it's a very small amount of liquid. <laughs> and to suggest, I'm saying all that to say this, it takes a lot of crushing. You have to get crushed quite a bit. And crush doesn't mean that you have to experience incredible adversity in your life or in your business career in order to grow. But crush might mean that you need to put in some extra time, some extra reps, some reading outside of work, some training outside of work in order to advance yourself in terms of skill set and or affect or your ability to get things done or produce outcomes in your organization. So you can't become wine unless you're crushed or get crushed. And you can't drink grapes. You could drink grapes, but that's quite quite a dangerous exercise if you're trying to sort of actually swallow a grape without chewing it up. But <clears throat> nevertheless, we're getting a little bit off track there. My encouragement to you today is do the extra reps that are necessary. Do expect that you're going to get crushed uh, along the way. You're going to struggle along the way before you actually get to a point where you can be an effective leader. And that takes time. It takes time. You have to put in the reps. You have to understand that it takes time. You have to be willing to resign yourself to the idea that you will have to spend a few years or a decade before you're in that position to be truly effective as a leader. Take care. We'll talk to you again soon.